In this video, I'm going to show you the 14 best exercises that will quickly add 3 plus inches to your arms. It won't be easy, but it's not an impossible feat either. A bigger pair of arms makes you feel great and look like a Greek god. However, the process of getting massive arms can be quite challenging, one that requires consistent dedication and effort. So enough about grinding out the usual barbell curls again and again. What you need is variety. To build arms that really pop, you must hit them from different angles. In other words, you must not just focus on your biceps, but also your triceps and forearms. How does a twisting dumbbell curl contribute? What about a close grip bench press? Is it an ideal exercise for this goal? Stick around and I'll give you some nutrition pointers that will help optimize your workout for muscle growth. Top 5 Bicep Exercises Number 1. Incline Dumbbell Curl Incline dumbbell curls are a great strength training exercise that builds the inner and outer bicep. Because of the positioning of the torso and arms, you get a little extra stretch and a better range of motion. To do it, number one, adjust the bench to a 45 to 75 degree angle. Number two, keep your back flat against the bench and hold a dumbbell in each hand. Number three, with your palms facing up, curl the weights towards your shoulders. Number four, at the top of the movement, keep contracting your biceps. Number five, slowly lower the weights to the starting position. If you think incline curls are unique, wait till you hear about the number two, twisting dumbbell curl. Twisting curls are standard dumbbell curls with a twist modification. Such a modification is better at targeting biceps brachii and has a greater impact on muscle strength and hypertrophy. To do it, number one, grab a pair of dumbbells with one in each hand and let them hang to your sides at arm's length. Number two, stand tall with a tight torso and your palms facing your body. Number three, slowly curl one arm up to the shoulder. Number four, midway through the movement, rotate your wrist so it faces your body at the top of the movement. Number five, pause for a moment and slowly return to the starting position, then alternate arms. Number three, underhand seated row. In a quest for bigger biceps, one shouldn't miss out on the underhand seated row. This exercise works multiple muscles with lats and rhomboids as the primary muscles worked. To do it, number one, bend your knees and hold the bar using an underhand grip, shoulder width apart. Number two, slightly lean back while keeping your back straight. Then use your back muscle to drive the bar towards your belly button. Number three, return the bar to the starting position and repeat. Feeling the burn yet? We're still getting started. There's triceps next, and one of the exercises under it is the overhead barbell extension, but more on that in a while. Number four, preacher curl. The preacher curl focuses on training your biceps while not using any other parts of your body. It involves placing your upper arms against the pads, driving more engagement to the biceps. To do it, number one, position on the bench and ensure your upper arms and chest are in contact with the pad. Number two, lean and grip the easy bar using an underhand grip, shoulder width apart. Number three, tuck your chin in with your arms extended and your wrist in a neutral position. Number four, start curling by contracting your bicep and bending your elbow, lifting until the bar is at shoulder height. Number five, slowly lower your arms to the starting position and repeat. Another exercise that primarily trains your biceps is the number five, incline hammer curl. Thanks to the incline bench, this exercise gives your arms a more comprehensive exercise as it emphasizes more on your biceps and forearms. To do it, number one, sit on an incline bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Number two, keep your upper arm steady and let the weights hang straight down at your side with a neutral grip. Number three, start curling by flexing at the elbow while keeping your upper arm stationary. Number four, continue to the top of the movement and pause. Number five, slowly return to the start position and repeat. Top five tricep exercises. Number six, one arm tricep extension. This tricep exercise is quite popular. It targets all three heads of the triceps and is ideal for adding size and definition to the triceps. To do it, number one, sit on a military press bench and hold a dumbbell in one hand. Number two, the weight should be directly behind your head with your elbow bent and pointed towards the ceiling. Number three, extend through your elbow until your arm is straight and the dumbbell is directly above you. Number four, lower your arm back to the starting position and repeat. Aside from tricep extensions, you should also be doing the number seven, skull crusher. No, this won't crush your skull, contrary to its name. Skull crushers are a single joint exercise that'll give your triceps the ultimate pump. To do it, number one, sit on the bench with a barbell on your lap. Number two, using a shoulder width grip and with palms facing down, grab the barbell. Number three, lie on your back as you bring the weight up over your collarbone. Number four, slowly bend your elbows to bring the barbell down past your head. 
Number five, hold for a second or two, then straighten your elbows to push the weight back to an overhead position. Number eight, overhead barbell extension. The standing overhead barbell extension is an isolation exercise targeting the long head of the triceps. The barbell variation gives you a gripping advantage. If not a straight bar, you can perform it with an easy bar or neutral grip bar. To do it, number one, grab a barbell with both hands and stand with it held over your head, your hands almost touching, and your palms facing forwards. Number two, slowly lower the bar behind your head by bending your elbows while keeping your upper arm stationary. Number three, once your elbows hit 90 degrees, take a moment to pause. Number four, flex your triceps to return to the starting position and repeat. Compared to the narrow grip of the traditional bench press, the next exercise uses a close grip, and that is number nine, close grip bench press. When building triceps and arms overall, the close grip bench press can significantly help. Placing your hands closer together greatly improves your triceps growth and strength. To do it, number one, lie on a flat bench and using an overhand grip that's shoulder width apart, lift the bar and hold it above your sternum with arms completely locked. Number two, slowly lower the bar down on your middle chest. Number three, after a second's pause, bring the bar back to the starting position and repeat. Number 10, rope pull down. The rope pull down helps target several muscle groups in the upper back for an improved overall physique and a wider back. It involves moving only the forearms, forcing your triceps to bear most of the work. To do rope pull downs, number one, attack Attach a rope to the high pulley and select your weight. Number two, stay a couple of feet back and take the rope with both hands. Number three, keeping your elbows tucked in at your sides, grab the handle, squeeze your core, and bring your hands down until your arms are fully extended. Number four, pause at the bottom of the movement, then return to the starting position and repeat. Have you tried any of the exercises I've talked about? How's the difficulty level? Let us know in the comments below. Now, we're down to our last set of exercises. Here are the best four forearm exercises you should be doing. Top four forearm exercises. Number 11, barbell wrist curl. The barbell wrist curl primarily targets the forearms, a group of muscles that are often neglected by many arm exercises. Plus, doing this exercise will boost your grip strength, which will be of great use come deadlift day. To do it, number one, set up your desired weight on the bar and assume a seated position with the forearms resting comfortably on your thighs. Number two, using a supinated grip, meaning palms up, curl the bar towards your body using just the wrists. Number three, once the forearm flexors are fully shortened, slowly lower the barbell back to the starting position and repeat. If you're doing wrist curls, then you surely should be doing this too. Number 12, dumbbell wrist extension. Although wrist extensions aren't as popular as wrist curls, they're good for bulking up the muscles that run along the back of your forearms. Alternatively, you can perform this with a barbell. To do it, number one, assume a seated position and grab a dumbbell with an overhand grip and rest your forearm against a bench or your thigh. Number two, lower your hand holding the weight towards the floor. Number three, reverse the motion by bending your wrist upwards. Number four, repeat the same steps for the other hand. On another note, you can also improve your efforts of building bigger arms by taking creatine supplements, but more about it coming up in a bit. Number 13, Farmer's Walk. Executing the Farmer's Walk is simple. It isn't commonly seen in local gyms, but it's absolutely among the finest total body exercises out there. Besides building huge forearms, it also trains your core and leaves your legs on fire. To do it, number one, stand and hinge at your hips to bend over and get a dumbbell for each hand and lift with your legs to stand up. Number two, allow the dumbbells to hang naturally by your sides. Number three, keeping your shoulder back, walk back and forth with the weights in hand, and ideally until you can no longer hold them. Looking for another exercise to get jacked forearms? This next one surely won't disappoint. Number 14, Reverse Easy Curl. The Reverse Easy Bar Curl is a great movement for training the brachioradialis and brachialis. In particular, training the brachioradialis will push the biceps up and out further, thus accentuating the size of your arms. To do it, number one, hold the easy bar in front of your thighs with an overhand shoulder width grip. Number two, as you breathe in, curl the bar until your hands are at your shoulders. Number three, squeeze your biceps, then slowly lower the weight and repeat. For those of you who stayed with me until the end, here are a few diet pointers I can share with you when it comes to adding inches to your arms. A healthy diet for bigger arms. Nutrition plays a huge part in bodybuilding. Did you know that muscle is primarily made of protein and water? Therefore, besides 
Besides performing those arm building exercises, optimizing your diet is equally important when building bigger arms. The food options I recommend and can vouch for are the following. Number one, for pre-workout protein foods, there are tuna, eggs, and soybeans to choose from. Number two, eating an orange or two is good for an energy boost before or after your workout. Number three, you can also opt for a kale smoothie for a quick health boost post-workout. Number four, for recovery and post-workout nutrition, you may snack on avocados and almonds. Avocados are a natural source of good fats, while almonds are packed with anti-inflammatory nutrients and antioxidants. Number five, other excellent options are red meat, preferably beef, to satisfy your hunger after a tough workout and to increase your protein intake, Greek yogurt for a protein boost that'll aid in muscle recovery, or oatmeal for a filling food that's also rich in antioxidants. Adding three or more inches to your arms is a solid goal. The problem is you still need one more thing that will give your performance a much needed boost. Watch this next video to know what exactly I'm talking about.